probably the number one question I get right now in my channel is this. What speed booster should I get for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera? Well, that's the thing. Since Metabones doesn't have a speed booster for the Pocket 4K just yet, we're gonna have to look in the older versions of the speed booster. And that's what we're doing today. So if you go to the Metabones website, you click on products, click on micro four thirds, it's gonna show you the compatibility listing. We're all gonna be looking at the first two, the Ultra and the XL, because the last two are the BMPCC, which is the version one, which you would think would work, and the 0.64. I'm only focusing on these two because I haven't tested them, so I can vouch for them. To break this down easily, because Metabones has so many speed boosters now. Back then, they only had like two. It was much easier back then, but now there's just so many of them, right? Different mounts, and you can already see that here. So the rule of thumb is, if you are using a cropped lens, like the Sigma 1835 millimeter 1.8, go for the 0.71X, this one. If you're using a full frame lens, like the Canon 85 millimeter 1.2, like I have two also, get the 0.64X, okay? The differences are the crop factor reduction, all right? Ultra has a 0.71X, XL has a 0.64, and also the stops. For the 0.71X, it would only give you a one-stop addition to your lens. But if you have the 0.64X, you will get the stop and a third, so you getting more light intake. Now that we have that figured out, let's go ahead and calculate FOV or fill the view. We're not gonna talk focal length because a 50 millimeter is always gonna be a 50 millimeter, all right? But we're gonna talk about fill the view. So in my case, and we've done this before, but just to show you what I'm talking about, we're gonna take the 0.71X with a Sigma 18, 35 millimeter, right? Let's get a notepad which I already have, we have our notes. So we're gonna take 1.89, which is the Pocket 4K's crop, right? 1.89. We're gonna multiply, whoopsie, by 0.71. Jesus, I cannot type. Equals, and this is gonna be the new crop factor. So 1.89 is the original crop factor of the Pocket 4K. The 0.71 is your speed booster here, the Ultra. So we're gonna multiply that. If I can do that in my head real quick, times uh, 0.71, that's 1.34. But if you round that off, it's 1.35. That's gonna be your new crop factor. So you're technically turning that 4 thirds crop sensor of 1.89 to 1.35, which is a lot wider, right? So now with the 0.71X, we're gonna multiply 18 of the sigma. 1.35 times 18. Let me do that in my head real quick. 1.35 times 18, you get 24.3. And this is gonna be your field of view, not your focal length. And we're also gonna do 1.35 times, times 35, which is the other end of the lens. I'm gonna calculate that. Let me see, 1.35 times uh, 35. That's gonna give us 47.25. And so with that 0.71X, as far as field of view goes, 
you will get around a 24 mil to a 47 mil. Okay? And you will pretty much do the same exact thing for the 0.64 if you have full frame lenses. So you just do this, and that's obviously gonna change. 1.89 times 0 0.64, and you will get a 1.2 crop factor, which is sweet. But you need a full frame lens because that crop factor is not that much. So you're gonna need a full frame lens so that it doesn't vignette. Think about it. If you were to put a Sigma 18 35 millimeter with a 0.64 speed booster, you're kind of like taking the Sigma 18 35 mil and putting it on a full frame camera because a full frame camera has a crop factor of one. And this is 1.2. You're definitely going to vignette if you stick a Sigma 1835 on XL Speed Booster. No doubt about it. I hope that clears some things out for you guys. And I know there's just so much going on, especially Speed Boosters. If you have any questions, let me know and I try to keep this as simple as possible and as fast as possible.